Donald Trump signed a document, uh, an executive order the other day, saying that he's definitely going to build a wall. And then, I guess this was just yesterday, he got upset when the president of Mexico said, well, guess what, dude? I'm not coming to meet with you because you're being a jackass. And so Donald Trump was like, all right, we're going to put a 20% tariff on all goods coming in from Mexico. And Sean Spicer informed us that's the decision the president has made. And then an hour later said that wasn't a decision the president made. It was one of the options he was contemplating as an example on how to raise revenue for the wall. And this is the game plan that Trump's fundraisers and supporters are going to follow. This is the IBC Bank chief executive, Dennis Nixon, who was a major Trump fundraiser, who um, I don't think he was surprised that Donald Trump wanted to build the wall, but just sort of felt like, look, I raised money for this guy, and we'll get rid of the bad stuff, and we'll just keep the good stuff that I like. Like, uh, I'm not going to have to pay any um, estate taxes when, uh, or any other taxes in the meantime. Dennis Nixon was one of the Trump campaign's top fundraisers in Texas, yet he opposes the wall. You know, bad decisions are made when you don't have enough information to make a good decision. Pause to be clear. Now that really should be the beginning of him saying, and that's why I voted for Trump and supported him, right? In fact, that's how he got elected to the presidency, but that's not where he's going. Texas, yet he opposes the wall. You know, bad decisions are made when you don't have enough information to make a good decision. And to be clear, this is coming from someone who spent a lot of time and money working for Donald Trump during the campaign. Absolutely. To those supporters who say the wall has to happen, that's why we voted, what do you say? They're wrong uh, because they haven't looked at the data. My main argument is the river is an effective barrier that we can use to, to provide that same level of security. Yeah, I mean, Texas is really freaking out now because they're actually thinking there might be a wall and that's going to be bad for them. And they'd be hit by the sanctuary city stuff too, right? That's right. And if there's a 20% tariff put on goods coming into this country from Mexico, it's going to be very, very, very expensive to live in Texas. Never mind uh, guacamole. Forget about it. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri- subscribe.